feature story tonight, and you can't see it, and you've probably never heard of it, but it's been touted as a life-changing material of the 21st century. Let me introduce you to graphene. It's the revolutionary material that's tipped to change the world. It'll be a world with flexible screens that you can just roll up and stuff into your bag. It'll be a world where batteries charge in five seconds. It'll be a world where we can carry a whole heap of data around on something the size of your fingernail. And uh, everyone will have, you know, transparent, futuristic Star Wars-like screens. The key to all of this might just be graphene. And for years, it's been hiding in ordinary pencils. Graphene is a single layer of carbon atoms. It's made by getting sticky tape on a pencil and pulling it off, and it pulls off just a single layer. And that's exactly how two scientists in a Manchester lab came upon it on a Friday night in 2003. By 2010, they'd won a Nobel Prize for their discovery. Firstly, at just one atom thick, it's the thinnest stuff known to man. That means you can fit more than a million pieces of it on the tip of a pencil. But that's not all. Graphene is stronger than steel and tougher than diamond. But it's also as flexible as rubber and conducts electricity better than copper. Other materials have extraordinary properties, but they're not so easy to get to, they're not so easy to process, and they're not so easy to fabricate. By the end of last year, more than 7,000 patents using graphene had been registered around the world. Samsung alone has more than 400. And they reckon it's going to make our current generation of phones look like the bricks of the 1980s. Right now, if you drop your phone, you're going to smash the glass. But if you put strong graphene that was transparent, you'd not only have a thinner phone, but you'd also have something that was a bit more flexible as well. And champions of graphene say its potential isn't limited to super cool phones and computers. What I'm really excited about is clean water for everyone. By using graphene filters, we can really increase the potency of desalination plants so that we can fire water through really fine graphene filters and have really clean water for people who really, really need it. The EU is spending almost $1.5 billion on its development. And there's also research going into improved cancer treatment, ultra-thin solar panels and bulletproof vests. But it's not quite there yet. The hardest thing with new materials development is first of all being able to make sure that it does what you think it will do and scaling up in a way that you can make volumes of it for, for a mass market. Right now it's already providing lightweight strength to sports equipment. But the more complicated stuff will take a bit longer. I'm just warming up, baby. It is incredible. I, I know it sounded like I knew what I was talking about there, but I had a team of people helping me. Uh, <laughs> be smart about graphene. Uh, but I'm investing everything I have in it, so I hope it works out well. We'll be right back.